I'll show you how to build a custom product page like this and we will use three plugins, all of which are free. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins, then add new. And in this search bar, type Elementor, then click install and activate. Then search for shop engine, then install it and activate it. Let's go to the left navigation panel, find shop engine, hover over it and select widgets. Now enable all the free ones, then go up and click save changes. Now we need one more free plugin. So you can go to the description and click on the link. And that should take you to this website. This is 100% free. You'll also see my face here because we've built this so you can trust that it actually works. Just click sign up here. Now paste your website URL here and click here. Now your site is automatically being optimized and here you should see a big jump in speed. All right, so now that everything is ready, let's come back to our dashboard, hover the cursor over shop engine, and then click builder templates. It's gonna take us to this page. So click the add new button here on top, and it opens this pop-up from the right. So I'll go ahead and name it. I'll select a blank page because this way I can give you a better idea of the widgets available and how you can customize your pages. Next, I'll toggle this activate button to switch it on, then save it using this button. Now the pop-up closes and we can see the template we just created listed on our page and it's active. So on it, I'll click edit with Elementor and it gives me another pop-up and asks me to pick a product. So I'm gonna pick this one, but don't worry, even though I'm selecting just one product here, this template will apply to all the products on my website. So now I'm on a blank page on Elementor where I need to build my template. So let me click this plus icon and add a row container. Now the first thing I'll put here is a notice widget so my customers can be alerted when they add something to the cart. So I'll use the sidebar and search for the notice widget. Then I'll select and drag it into the box. Then I'll adjust the width like this or use the width slider here. Uh, next we need a product here. Product pages generally have a left right split layout. So I'll click the plus icon and add a new container. Then select the split into layout. I can also adjust the boxes by dragging the edges like this. Okay, now it's time to add widgets to the section I've just made. So I'll first add my product image to the left container. Now in the left sidebar, I'll select product images and drag it to the left box. Now I can use the options in the sidebar to edit the photo. In the main image, there's a space for an icon on the top right. And I can change that by going back to the content tab and under the product light box, select the icon. Now from the left sidebar, I'll select the product title widget and drag it into the right box. Now use the options in the sidebar and let's make a minor adjustment. I'll also use a slider below that to modify the font size. And now let's add important widgets here. So let's start with the product category widget. I'll put it above the title. So let me drag it here. Now the category shows coffee, but the coffee link is a little gray. So I can modify it. Now let's add star ratings using the ratings widget. So I'll search for it and then drag it below my title. Next I'll add the product price widget. So search for it, then drag it. Now I'll go to sale price section and under typography increase its size like this. Next let's add the description so that the customer has more information. So I'll go to the sidebar and then drag the product description widget here. Then, like before, I'll use the style tab and adjustment font size and line spacing like I did before. And it's done. Okay, now I'll add the add to cart option here. So let me drag this widget below. And in my sidebar, I can use the toggle to show the stock status here. So let's switch it on. There are also other toggle buttons to switch off the wish list, compare buttons and more things. So let's edit the style by switching to the style tab in the sidebar. So here the first option is to edit the stock status. You can change the font and color similar to how we did with the title. Now let's add a section for related products. I'll add a new container here and then find the related products widget and drag it here. Now there's no title here. So let's go to the sidebar and drag the title widget. Now I'll name it and type the text I want like this. Go to style tab and under typography increase its size. Now I think the product reviews would look great here. So let's add them. So first I'll add a new container by scrolling down clicking this plus icon. Then I'll select row. Now I'll find the reviews widget in the sidebar and drag it into this box. Now on our preview page, it shows me the dummy reviews, but don't worry, 
the actual product page website will have the real reviews as we'll see. Now let's also space it out by increasing the margin on top and we're pretty much done. You can also check out the other widgets here if you need them like the SKU, product tags, there's a whole bunch of them. Now all that's left to do is hit update here. Great, our product page is live now. So let's go back to our website, refresh this page. There you go, my custom template has been applied and you can see the real reviews. All right, one bonus tip is to add a feature where your customers can check the delivery availability by using their PIN code. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.